So in this video, we're going to continue working with e arithmetic sequences, and we're going to actually put it in the second form. We did the explicit form in the last video, and now we're going to do the recursive form. Um, so your objective is that you can write the recursive rule for arithmetic series sequences. You can write the explicit rule, and then you can go between the two, writing back and forth. So let's review. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term changes at a constant rate. So if you look, between each of these terms, they go up or down by 3. Where this one, they go down by 5. So the difference is negative 5. Over on the right are some non-examples. Um, these look like they're going at the same rate. There is a pattern, but it's a multiple of 2, which is actually a different type of sequence, which we're going to learn about later. And then this one doesn't have a common difference. The explicit rule is a formula or equation that allows a person to calculate any term in the sequence. So we learned how to write this. Um, we wrote sequences like this. a sub n equals d n a sub 0. So remember, d is a common difference. n is the term in the sequence. Whatever number is here is what number goes here. And then a sub 0 is a term before the first term in the sequence. So let's look at the recursive form. So this is the second way we write sequences. This one has two parts. You have a sub 1, and whatever a sub 1 would go here. So if a sub 1 equals 5, it's 5. If it's negative 3, it goes 3. And then um, all you need to write, you have a sub n, and then a sub n minus 1, which means it's the previous term before, in the sequence before, I should say, before a sub n. So whatever one's first. So if a sub n is, so if you have a sub 5, a sub n minus 1 would be a sub 4. So if this is a sub n, a sub n minus 1 is a sub 4. And then you add the difference. So let's look at some examples. The first thing we need is a sub 1. a sub 1 is the first term. So it's here. So I'd write a sub 1 equals 7. And then I have a sub n. All right. And then it always equals a sub n minus 1 plus. And then whatever your difference is, what is it going up or down by? Well, this one's going up by so it's plus 4. All right, so on the second one, again, if it's fractions, it's easier to make them decimals. So right here I have 3.5, 1.5, negative 0.5, and 1 half, and negative 2.5. So to write the cursor form, you have a sub 1, a sub 1 equals 3.5, or you can write 7 halves. Okay. And then you have a sub n. All right, so a sub n, we have a sub n minus 1. We just write that as is and then plus our difference, but this one is subtracting. Each one, the difference is negative 2. So we go minus 2. So let's practice writing the first four terms of the sequence. So we have a sub 1. We know our first term. Our first term, right down here, is negative 2. Our second term, so if I want to find a sub 2, using this part of the formula, I take the previous term, which is a sub 1, which is negative 2. We take the previous, which is 1, a sub 1, and then I add 3. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so my next term is 1. And then a sub 3. So if I want to find a sub 3, I find a sub 2, which is 1. And I add 
3. So in other words, we're just adding 3 each time. So that's 4. And if I want to find the next one, I just add 3 again. That is 7. Same with this one. My first term is 4.5. So if I want to find a sub 2, I find the previous term. So I need a sub 1, which is 4.5. And I add a half which is 0.5, so 4.5 plus a half is 5. And then I can find a sub 3, so I take a sub 2, which is 5, and add a half, which is 5.5, or 5.5. And the next term I'm going to add a half, which is just 6. And you can keep going, but we only need the first 4. All right, so we're going to write the explicit rule of the intern given the recursive. So I give you the recursive rule, and I want you to write this. So two things we need. We need a difference and a sub 0. Well, I give you the difference. Your difference, your d, is right here. So this is your d. All right, so writing this, we have a sub n. We know it's 4n. We got the d again from here. Here's a D in the explicit rule, or the recursive rule. Now we just need to figure out what a sub 0 is. So we have a sub 1. Because my difference is 4, going this way, I add 4. So my next term in the sequence is 22. To go backwards, to the opposite, I need to subtract 4. So my previous term is 14. This is plus 14. And that's my final answer. So this one we have a sub 1 and a sub n equals, oh, this should be a sub n minus 1. I have to get right in there. So my common difference is negative 12. That's my d. So I go a sub n equals negative 12 n. Alright. And then I need to find the previous term. So my difference is negative 12. So to go this way, I would minus 12. So my next term, so a sub 2 would be, or my second term, would be negative 21. If I want to go this way, I do the opposite. So I'm going to add 12. And that would give me 3. So this is plus. All right, so now we're going to write the recursive rule given the explicit rule. So I give you this, where you have d and a sub 0. And I need a sub 1, and then I need my d. So again, the d is in both of them, so my d is 6. So we need a sub 1. We need to figure out a sub 1 equals. And then we have a sub n. And a sub n minus 1. And my d is 6, so I go plus 6. All right. Well, if a sub 0 is 2, to get a sub 1, we need to figure out how we're getting terms in the sequence, which is adding 6. So I add 6. My first term is 8. So again, over here, we need to find a sub 1 and our difference. Our difference is negative 2. So we need a sub 1. We're going to figure that out in a bit. We have a sub n, which is a sub n minus 1. And then it's, my difference is 2, so it's minus 2. All right, so if this is a sub 0, get a sub 1, we need to go to the next term in the sequence, which we're minusing 2, so it is 6. Alright, so then to write the explicit and recursive rule for the nth term of the arithmetic series, so we're using our 2 there, so let's first start with the explicit rule. So we need our difference, so the explicit rule starts at a sub n, 
If you don't remember what they are, you can look at your notes. And our difference is 3n, so it's dn. And then we need a sub 0. So if a sub 1 is 25, to go to the next one is 28. To go back is 22, so it's plus 22. All right, so now we need to write the cursive. So we need a sub 1. And with that one, we actually have all the information. a sub 1 is 25. And a sub n looks like a sub n minus 1. And then we find add our difference, plus 3. All right, so then on f, we need to write our explicit, which is a sub n. It's our difference times n. And then we need to find a sub 0. So we have 6, which is 4. To go into the next term in the sequence, to go this way, we subtract 7. So that's negative 1 is our next one. To go backwards, we need to add 7, because we want to know the previous terms. So that's 13. And then we have 20. And then we have 27. All right, so this is 4, 3, 2, 1, and then a sub 0 would be 34. So you just kind of keep track of where you're at. And then we have the recursive form. We have a sub 1 we know from here. That's 27. And a sub n. a sub n minus 1, and then our difference is 7, so we minus 7. All right, so to review, on arithmetic se sequences, which we dealt with this video and the last video, is the com constant difference between them, and we have two forms, the explicit form and the recursive form, and you're going to need to write sequences in both forms and how to go back and forth and how to get your sequences from them. Reminder to do a reflection so you get credit for watching this video.